Hi, I'm Angelo Costanza and you're watching Pure Bread Reds LA United Fan TV. Here with Jared after the fantastic 2-1 win against the Central Coast Mariners here at Cooper Stadium. We're on the pitch for the first time in our fan camp so far this season. Great initiative from the club to let the fans come on and uh, enjoy the pitch after a great win. Now I'm with, the, with Jared here. Jared, um, certainly wasn't the greatest performance. Um, is there renewed hope in this for you now given that um, a lot of the time this season at Cooper Stadium uh, we haven't played well and haven't gotten the result? Are you, ha are you happy now that we actually managed to get a result after quite a poor performance today? Absolutely, yeah. It's great to see a home win. It's been really frustrating this year to see us playing well away and uh, to struggling at home. And probably the best thing coming out of that is seeing George Blackwood finally uh, score a home goal because I think he's deserved it. He's tried hard and uh, would be pretty hard coming off the bench and trying to get into the rhythm of the game. And uh, it's been just been good. To, I feel really happy that he scored one. So, yeah, excellent. Excellent win. Um, pretty sort of... Uh, I'm not going to say disappointing, but um, you know we, we weren't particularly ambitious against Perth Glory. Uh, what what for you uh, is the reason for why we started so sluggish today? Like it, it was a very poor first half in particular. Um, you know, players just look very sloppy out there, uh, particularly those that usually stand up for us. Um, what was what was it for you that um, just made us come out pretty sort of sluggish to begin with today? And uh, really, that was the case until you'd say the last half an hour. Sure, yeah. I think probably the workload. I think so many games in a row. Um, it's been pretty hot all over the country, so I've been playing in a fair bit of heat, and so many games so close together. Um, the workload's probably finally caught up on us, I reckon. So uh, and the travelling. So that's probably what it was. We were certainly off our game in the first half. Passes were just going everywhere. So. Um, I think you can only put it down a word like so we kept trying, we kept trying, kept trying and it uh, finally came together right at the death now. So yeah, excellent. Um, just want to ask you a lot of empty seats out there today, fantastic weather. Um, do you put that down to just a long weekend, people travelling, or uh, are people starting to lose a bit of patience with the fact that we haven't been active in the transfer window and that uh, we haven't been able to pull a run of games together where we've been winning uh, consecutively? What, what do you put it down to exactly? Yeah, I reckon there's a bit of frustration out there. I think uh, I think initially it was that all our strikers were injured and we couldn't find a striker, so it was making, making us hard to score goals. So I think people were getting sick of coming to nil all games or losing home games. So. Uh, but yeah, long weekend, I suppose, Australia Day weekend, so it might sort of have a little bit of an effect on the crowd numbers. I'd really love to see 10,000 here every week. I think that's a good number. And probably when we play uh, somewhere like Victory, probably at 14 or 15,000. But probably a bit of frustration out there. But I think the more we can keep winning, the more people, more bums and seats is going to happen. So yeah, keep the faith. Yeah, well said. Last few days uh, of the window, um, can you see us doing anything? Is there anyone Australian base that you'd like to see us go for? Um, or do you think we're just going to try and rely on the likes of Bubba Diwara uh, getting fit sometime soon and Mirko Bolland coming back and us just being satisfied with what we've got at the moment? How do you see us going about things in terms of a business sense? Yeah, I, I'd love to see them. The transfer window is about to close, so I'd love to see us find someone. Um, I think the, the talk this week's been about losing Goodwin, so uh, let's hope we don't lose Goodwin. Um, if we do, let's hope we can maybe know that he's going and then get some money and uh, hopefully the transfer window still open we can uh, find someone with that extra cash but let's hope we don't lose Goodwin and uh, we'll see how that goes but yeah I think the, the priority's got to be getting all our strikers fit because when they're fit then we know they're good players but we just haven't seen Bubba uh, really too much this year so let's see he's back but love to see someone come through on the transfer window as well with a bit of extra cash that we've got so yeah. Jared, very well spoken today. Thanks so much for speaking to us, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Brisbane Raw to come this Saturday night. Yeah, great. Are we going to win, by the way? Let's hope so. Yeah, we'll see you here. We'll be right here. See you Sunday. Yeah. Cheers, Jared. Thanks, Thanks mate. See you. Yeah. Here with Adrian after the 2-1 win over the Central Coast Mariners. Mate, um, it's been a long time since we've gotten a last-minute winner at Cooper Stadium. Seeing George Blackwood of all people as well, and there's been a bit of pressure on him to stay out of the so far this season. You're excited to see that hit the back of the net, uh, given that it was a pretty frustrating day today, and it didn't look like we were going to particularly come out and uh, pinch all three points. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think George is low on confidence, and, uh, yeah, great for him to get a goal. Um, didn't think it was going to come, but, you know, that's the way it is. But no, great, really good. Yeah, I think, you know, when he gets a couple, maybe we'll maybe go forward. We certainly need, we need a striker. You know, um, Ben Hallam's in his best, you know, and so is Craig, but we really need somebody in the middle, so, yeah, no, it's really good.
Um, given that we've had a bit of a heavy fixture load lately, haven't um, taken as many points out of it as we'd like. Um, still a lot of hard games coming up. How important was it to win today at home against a team that's uh, really uh, failed to uh, impress many people at all this season? They've only won one game. Uh, you know, would we have come out of this had we not won? Feeling like uh, fifth or sixth uh, and not doing much in the finals was the best we could hope for from here on end. Yeah, um, home form has been sketchy this season, which is a bit disappointing. You know, we've had so many opportunities to win home games and not won them, which is a killer. Um, away to Sydney the other week was just, I thought we were robbed on decisions a bit. Um, but uh, that's the way it goes. Look, I mean, we won, lose, one draw, which is not too bad, I suppose. But if you want to be top teams, you've got to be winning those games away. Yeah, so Sydney game special. Who do you think uh, really stood out for us today? Obviously, we had uh, Isaias and Blackwood get on the score sheet, but uh, who who really excelled today for you? Because um, it was pretty sluggish first half, and um, it'd be hard to sort of pick a clear sort of uh, three best players. But uh, your opinion, who, who really stood out today? Yeah, difficult to say. I thought everybody was a bit flat today. Um, Strainy, probably, Ryan Strain. A um, couple of good runs, but uh, it was difficult to pick one today. I thought everybody, I think nobody really excelled today. I mean, great for George to come on and score a goal, but uh, you know, it wasn't on the rest of the time. So I think that, I think today it was, it was a bit even hard to pick. I'd probably go with Strainy. Uh, yeah. yep. um, as you alluded to, alluded to before, home form hasn't really been uh, a strong point for us this season. Um, at what point do you start to question uh, Marco Kurz's team selections, given um, that we've only won three games so far at home all season? Um, is there is the manager, does it come under the firing line at all? Because there does seem to be a bit of a sort of protective cloud that he's under a lot of the time because people uh, always talk about the fact that we don't have a huge amount of resources, the owners aren't looking like they want to spend any money, etc, etc. Um, people kind of like to paint the picture that he's managing with his hands tied behind his back. Um, but does he at any point ever have to become accountable for the, uh, the concerning performances, particularly at home so far this season? Yeah, I think maybe... It's difficult. With all those things, having said all those things, it is a bit difficult and it's a, it's a salary cap league and you don't get the players you sometimes want. Maybe, we don't know whether he's, he's got his hands tied behind his back, but um, look, I, it, there will come a time, I don't think it's yet. I think we're still, you know, we're still in the hunt and as long as we do that and if we make the final series, maybe, then maybe we you know, can make a decision then. But I, I think he's doing a good job. Look, uh, a lot of people will call him for his head, but I reckon we should stick, stick with him, whether he stays at the end of the season, I don't know. But, um, look, there's a lot of coaches out there that are probably not as good as Marco, so yeah, I'm still on his side at the moment. just want to finish off by asking you, uh, there's a few days left before the transfer window closes. Um, are you optimistic at all? Do you think business will get done? Or do you feel like, given that Mirko Bolin is nearing a return, and you feel that uh, Club of is not too far away as well, uh, the club will just uh, rest on what it has and hope that we can push through and do something in the finals? Yeah, the, the Baba situation is a bit strange. I don't know what, what the situation is there, but I don't really expect him to come back. Um, I don't think we'll get anybody. I think it's too late now. Um, might be difficult this time of year to get somewhere, I'm not sure, but um, I think we'll just struggle through with it. And look, I think we'll make the final series with what we've got, and then we'll see if we get lucky, you know, from there. But I really don't think we'll get, I don't think we'll sign a striker. Not, I just don't think there's anybody out there, probably, that we, that we need. I don't want to sign a bad striker. Yeah, so. yeah well said. Uh, just to finish with Brisbane Raw this coming Saturday night, um, they've been uh, in turmoil pretty well all season. You see us having it uh, pretty comfortably against the Raw this coming Saturday. Uh, we'll have to hit them early. I think their confidence is pretty low. If we got a one or two up, then I think that'll be the game over. Um, give them a sniff, they're not a bad side. I think Botiak's back next game, and so they'll be tougher. Um, they're not in confidence. We should beat them here, you know, but uh, you never know. We say at the Central Coast. So I'd expect us to win, but it's going to be as easy as we think. I think we need to get up on them. We need to go out the blocks firing, and then we, you know, probably be over half time. Yeah, they're a difficult team, but they're still a good side. So. No worries, thanks so much for speaking to us and uh, we'll hopefully see you again uh, on Saturday against the Raw. Sure. Cheers. Thanks mate, all good. Okay, standing here with Jordan after the fantastic 2-1 win against the Central Coast Mariners. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of success at home this season, Jordan. Uh, were you ecstatic to see us get a late winner today against the Mariners? Well, all the, the home game that I've been to, Adelaide United always don't give up. Uh, like against Wellington Phoenix, we were pressing to score a goal. And I reckon, yeah, I felt that we were going to score the last minute. 
Yeah. Um, we've got Brisbane Raw on Saturday. Uh, is there an immense amount of improvement that you see us needing to make in order to get another win against the Raw this coming Saturday night? Or do you feel like uh, just by the sheer fact that they've been in poor form all year and that they've got a fair few players out themselves that uh, we'll be able to get the job done pretty comfortably? Well, if if um, Brisbane Raw press high, then that's what one of the things we need to work on, that tonight they pressed high and we started to lose the ball back in defence. And yeah, that's what I reckon we need to work on. Um, who stood out for you from us tonight? Um, we saw Isaias and George Blackwood get on the score sheet. Um, did anyone else catch your eye tonight? Um, or did you think that we're pretty flat across the board in terms of our own players tonight? I reckon we're, we all did well. I reckon we're, each player played equally good. And they all, they, I could just tell all in their minds that they wanted to get that last goal. They looked determined. So I reckon fair play to everyone. Um, January transfer windows open for a few more days. Do you think that we are going to bring anyone in between now and when it shuts? Or um, do you think that we're okay with who we've got and uh, it's just a case of relying on people like Bubba DOR getting fit again? Yeah. Um, do you see major deficiencies where we do need to strengthen the squad? How do you see it all up? Do we need to sign someone? Probably, probably a defender. We've been a little bit shaky in the back, as you saw that in goal today. I reckon we need one more defender to get us in the show. Uh, well, thanks so much for speaking to us, Jordan. Cheers. All the best. Yeah, you're welcome. Here with Glenn after the 2-1 win against the Central Coast Mariners. Glenn, uh, capo of the Red Army, obviously, um, gave it your everything today. Can we say the same about the players? Because even though we came away with a win today, pretty disappointing first half, obviously, went behind. Um, were you a little bit worried? Uh, or uh, did you feel like we were always going to get over that last hurdle and end up getting at least a point from the game? How did you see it? Um, I mean, I look at the you know, players have done you know, a number of games over a short period, a lot of travel, um, playing against top teams as well. Um, away to Perth wasn't an easy game. Um, we had a victory, Western Sydney, Jets. We had a really tough one, I thought. That's why we did every team. Um, I think we're quite fortunate we didn't have many injuries to, to trouble us. Yeah. I think if we had injuries, it really would have shown. But in those other games where we've had tired players or short players, we've come up trump, trump, uh, we've come up trumps. So I think it was uh, the game against Newcastle. Um, you know, well, that game was away. It was a tight, tight game as well. We came up with the win there. And, um, and the game in Perth as well. We looked really, really tired, but you know, we, we came over the point, a very well earned point as well. Um, Sunday games were never fun in uh, Adelaide. We seem to not have a good history of them, so it was really good to get this uh, today. I think really, really good for the boys. Second half effort was 10 times better than uh, first first half. First half, I think everyone was really frustrated, players and fans alike. Um, but yeah, second half. Um, you did touch on the fact that Sundays at Cooper Stadium aren't always particularly fun. Uh, now I just want to ask, as a voice of the fan base, which you are, um, are you a little bit worried seeing all the empty seats around today, or did you put it down to the long weekend? Uh, what was the case for you for a little bit of a concerning crowd? Um, I'd probably put it down to... I'd probably put it down to it being a Sunday and it being such a close. Yeah. Um, you know, um, it's good it was later, not as hot. Um, previously we've done like double headers with youth or women's league and it's too hot for people. They want to come support and it just doesn't, doesn't work out. I personally think that the Sunday fixture it should either be quite late, dusk sort of time, like a six o'clock kickoff or a six thirty, or just scrap it all together. Because <coughs> against the other sporting codes, I just don't feel that there's we, we can't rival with it. Um, yeah, I was there long weekend. People probably did go away, um, but the way they've advertised the summer of football, you know, FFA, uh, you would expect there to be a bit more more numbers here. But I actually thought six thousand was really number today. So C eight was pretty good, yeah. and I think you know Saturday night against Brisbane at home. Um, I reckon that should be in a crowd. I think we'll have, hopefully, hopefully I'm going to crack 10, 11,000. Yeah. Um, I'd be pretty happy with that. We build on some form on the park as well, and then obviously go into a, hopefully a good run of games. Um, he didn't start Blackwood tonight, and he hasn't started him in a few games previously. Um, given that he popped up, scored the winner, did look uh, fairly lively in the lead up to scoring the winner. Um, is this him presenting a real case to start from now on, given that Bubba still seems like he's going to be out for a while? Or uh, did you feel like he got the selection right from the beginning today? How do you see it? Um, I think he tried to utilise the pace in the first yeah. with his lineup, you know, Halloran, um, and really Yeah, the, the front three over, they all switch over, Goodwin, they all switch over and they all run and attack in. I think he realised we weren't 
we were trying to play from the back and we seemed to be getting shut down. And uh, so it was almost time to go, right, let's get some let's get some balls in. But you can see um, Elsie and um, Leah and uh, who else do I see? Sanchez. For some of the games that I can see, <laughs> I can't go yeah. to see it all. Um, the switch over the play to our wingers, uh, overlapping full backs to come with that ball in to a player and that's what happened. That's what happened. Yeah, Blackwood was in two defenders, came attack the front post, the score. It also Particularly this same, it also was more holding up the ball, trying to get others playing around him today. Uh, but no, I, I think I think based on form, he got the line up right, and um, I mean, yeah, we got the win in the end, so proven. <laughs> yeah, um, Glenn, just want to finish off by asking you, uh, Brisbane Raw on Saturday night, as you touched on, um, they've been in really poor form all year. Um, do you think we really need to improve a lot from tonight, or do you feel like it'll be a case of given they're travelling and uh, the fact that we beat them here earlier this season, we'll be able to do it pretty comfortably without um, being at 100%. How do you see it? Um, I see it that Melbourne Victory obviously lost to us and their bounce back was against uh, Brisbane. I'm pretty sure they won the final. 5 0. That's the, that's what shows a class team because they come on and they know, like they, they come up and they show what they're made of. Um, I think for us it's important to get the win because we need to get four. Um, yeah, we have been consistently good, but yeah, their games we could be winning, should be winning. So I'd be happy with the win on the on the weekend. Obviously, four or five would be yes, that's what we expect. But as you saw today, we played against a team that aren't fantastic, and we struggled in the first half. They frustrated us, and they they did quite well. But second half, we showed our class to, to play out. Hopefully, the Brisbane game doesn't go like that. Hopefully, we're straight off the bang on the money, and um, crowd makes a big difference as well. You know. Um, First half, yes, fans are frustrated, but no one's really supporting the boys. And even when we're trying to start chance at that other end, it's, it's it just dies because people, it's, it's you know, they're not going up for it. Um, but yeah, I think Saturday win, be good. Ben, uh, thanks so much for being to us, and thanks so much for all the work you do with the Red Army and uh, for this club in general. Uh, great to get you on, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, all the best. Cheers. No worries.